It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with Tim McGraw. And just to show you, he's not a robot who works out constantly. Um, on his birthday the other day, he asked for a cheat meal. And he was given pot roast rice, gravy, and cornbread and he was so excited about it, he asked if he could have it for lunch instead of dinner, and he had a whole day of that. So, you see? Oh, you see? Yeah. That's his cheat. That's He's our normal. average day. <laughs> no, yes. I call that a snack. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's yeah. dinner, honey. I, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Um, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, we've had many discussions, you know how... Uh, we feel about it. There's a lot of great groups that should be in, and it's kind of phony, and you got to, like, you know, uh, they, you know what I'm trying to say. They just. I it's do. Not... It's really not the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, right. It's like it's, a music Hall of Fame. It's, it's a music Hall of Fame, but it's also how you get in. It's, like, so absurd, the rules. And so just to give you an idea, uh, groups that are still not in, and there's many, Bad Company, Boston, Peter Frampton, Meatloaf, Sticks, Iron Maiden. I mean, the list goes on and on. But the reason I bring it up is because they announced this year's inductees yesterday. And I do want to pay tribute to two that got in. Willie Nelson and oh, yeah. Cheryl Crow, yeah. who now, is ahead. amazing. She is amazing. Yeah. Now, my girlfriend, my best friend, Ellen, worked with Rage Against the Machine for many years. She was She's a publicist. Mm -hmm. She was so happy that they yeah. are in. I'm yeah. not a fan, but apparently she says it's, they deserve it. Well, so, right. Listen, Ra Rage Against the Machine, big group. Um, and, you know, and there's many other people that got it. George Michael got in. What? But... You know, there's so many actual rock bands that have not gotten into the... Did it's Chicago so ever get in? Yeah, I think they were. I think they did get inducted, yeah, finally, uh, after all those years. But um, the reason I bring it up is because I'm excited for Cheryl Crow. She is one of the nicest human beings I've ever met in my whole life, Candy. And, That's uh, lovely. Yeah, so good for her. She's Absolutely. Um, Taylor Swift, there's a rumor... That she is dating Matty Healy from the group The 1975 and that they are madly in love. Oh, Taylor. Well, <laughs> is that the reason she uh, ended yeah. her six year relationship? Who knows? Who oh, knows? Oh, boy. It's uh, easy yeah. to fall in love, I guess, right? Uh, for her, yes. Very for much her, so. yeah. For me, uh, maybe not so much. <laughs> artist Jack Harlow. Uh, you know, singer Jack Harlow uh, launched a charity for the Louisville community. That's very nice. Yeah. Um, Patrick Mahomes' brother Jackson, who's always been a little bit of a wild card. Yes. Uh, he was arrested for aggravated sexual battery. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, if you know the story of Jackson Mahomes, you wouldn't really be shocked. He, um, he's been in the news a lot and is not the greatest human being, uh, you know, of all time. And, yeah, so, yeah, it's one of those deals. So, it's like, remember President Carter and his, his brother Billy? Mm -hmm. He was always getting into trouble. Making yeah. Making Carters look bad. Yeah. Stuff like that, yeah. Well, and it's also like the uh, Highlights magazine, Goofus and Gallant, of course, Candy. Of uh, course. <laughs> one could do no wrong, and one only does wrong, yeah. Uh, Jamie Foxx, I still don't know what happened to him, but he posted a message. Appreciate all the love, feeling blessed. Yeah. yeah. I have a gut feeling he had a stroke. I mm. don't know this as a fact. Right. That's what I think. Um, but he, he's tech, uh, tweeting now. He's on the mend. I pray for his well-being. Yeah. And finally, Ozzy Osbourne says, I'm not retiring from performing live, even if I have to be wheeled on stage. Oh, Sharon may not like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she won't be happy. Um, TV Tonight, Law & Order, SVU, Organized Crime, the whole series, Grey's Anatomy, CSI Vegas, and there you have it. You're bald and the beautiful everything from Nashville to Hollywood. We're looking at kind of a mixed bag, going to be mostly cloudy, uh, some on and off showers throughout the day. We'll get that tomorrow as well, but it makes way 
for a uh, decent weekend into next week. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.